Hey there guys, this is Kyle, aka Ermos. Here yeah, just giving a little tutorial about my mixing desk plugin for Godot. This tutorial will cover just the simplest functions and applications of the mixing desk for music. We'll be talking about how to get mixing desk, how to import audio for use within it, set up a simple looping song, and I'll explain some of the properties like the BPM bars and time signature that you would have to uh, apply to your songs within your game and I'll touch a little bit on random tracks which is well something that makes mixing desk quite a bit more useful than just looping a single song because that's something you can do anyway within Godot well let's begin so firstly you'll uh, you'll have to actually download mixing desk you can get it through the asset library within Godot, just like this. Or if you don't want to download it that way for whatever reason, you can just get it up here on GitHub and just download the zip. And you uh, you just place it straight in, add-ons into your uh, Godot project like that. So once you've actually put it into your project, in your add-ons folder here, You'll then have to go into your project settings and activate it. So you can see all the uh, nodes that you get within Godot, like that. Now, once you've actually got it enabled in your project, you can uh, just go ahead and put in your mixing desk like that. And you see over here you've got a play mode. just leave it set to 1, that's loop. 0 is play once and 2 is shuffle. Loop will be just fine for now. So after that directly under mixing desk you put in a song node. I'm going to name this test. This will just be the name that you use to refer to the song in code if you don't want to use this index which would be 0. But either will do it'll recognize the name or its index. We'll need some music, obviously, to use with it. And uh, I've uploaded some sample music here. I'll put the link in the description, along with the link to my mixing desk plugin. And uh, I've already imported that in here for use. <clears throat> so import the files and it might sound weird, but turn loop off because Mixing Desk has its own way of looping things and if you have loop enabled on the actual audio file it'll mess things up. Now there are some properties on the song node. You've got tempo, bars, beats in bar which is just a stupid way of saying time signature, random chance, zero being no chance of playing a random song or a random track, one being a full chance of uh, playing a random track. Transition beats is how many beats it takes to transition from one song to the next, and loop will want that on. Now the uh, properties for the music I've uploaded here is the tempo is 120 beats per minute. There are four bars and four beats per bar. So that's a 4-4 four, four time signature. And then we'll set random chance to 1. So it will always play the random tracks. We'll get to that later. Now the way MDM, well, Mixing Desk Music works is it scans whatsoever, whatever is below it or uh, what kind of container it is. We want a core container. Whoops, that should be underneath the song. So you want your containers definitely underneath your songs, otherwise every, it just won't work. It's like a, think of it sort of like the animation player tree. There's a hierarchy to it. The top thing gives the orders, everything below it listens. And the core container is, as the name would imply, it's for the core of your track. Everything that's beneath the core container will always be played, unless you decide to uh, start a track by itself and fade the rest in later. But we're not doing anything like that just yet. Now, underneath your core container, you'll want an audio stream player to actually play the uh, audio. 
So I'll bring in the E piano, which is the core of this track. Sounds like this. Pleasant enough, I suppose. So we've got that in. That'll work just fine if we tell it to play, which we haven't yet. So the way you want to get it to play is you just put in a couple of lines of code. If you're using GD script, it'll just be this. Refer to the mixing desk in ready or whenever you want it to start playing and init song test, which will load the song uh, in, into the uh, scene hierarchy. It'll give it like a, a tween so it can fade up and down and stuff like that. If you don't know GD script, you can do exactly the same thing in visual script. It's as simple as that. You just tell it the name, tell it to initialize, tell it to play. It's exactly the same thing, just two little bits of code. And there you go. It's playing. In a loop. said earlier you can pass the name through into the code or you can just put its index number which if you have a lot of tracks and I don't know you want you put them in a certain order and you want to do some maths with it it'll make it easy for you that way and I know you're thinking well why didn't I just drag in an audio stream player and tell it to loop well because you can do stuff like this. You bring in your random container. I've got some random percussion here. Get an audio stream player in. Just name it. The actual name isn't really important for programming. It's just so you know what's there. Feel free to not name it if you don't want to. Oops, I just duplicate that line of code instead of that node. And again. Why is this happening? No. Duplicate that. Or no. Okay. Duplicate that. Duplicate that. My keyboard is deciding to uh, not play ball, but... Oh well, I've still got a mouse. Put the bonk in there and the clicks in there. And because of the random chance I've put there, it will always play a random track. But it'll choose one of these three, obviously at random. code that is necessary is the code that gets it to start. Everything else is just built in. You can duplicate that a couple of times and it will treat these random containers completely separately. It will play something random from there, something random from there, and something random from there. basics of the mixing desk for music. In the next tutorial we'll uh, cover some more complicated things. We'll start, we'll start out with some transitions. So like room songs for example. Uh, in, in RPGs you might, uh, you might wander into a town and it'll have its own theme. Wander out into the big wide world it'll have its own theme. Stuff like that. And uh, fading tricks, fading tracks in and out. And uh, intro and end segments, which can be very useful for stuff like uh, battle music. You want it to start a certain way and then uh, dynamically change as the fight goes on and then end on some kind of flourish. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. Be cool. Well, see you later.